Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I wanted to just give you a really quick little video about Pandora. You guys know I've started collecting Pandora, was it last year? I started collecting Pandora, I think it was last year. And I finally have enough to make a full bracelet. And I have it here. I have made a full bracelet. Now, if you saw my last video, I did do a small haul and I had two bracelets going. Well, I decided to put them all on one bracelet with a little bit of my cruise bracelet and I made one full bracelet out of it. Well, I've ordered a charm off Poshmark and it was this birthday blooms right here. And I had no problem with this charm other than it was listed as excellent condition, but one of the stones was cracked, which, you know, I didn't pay a whole lot for it, so I didn't fuss over it. Now, you guys know Poshmark, Macari, I've never been on Macari, but I think Macari is very similar to Poshmark. eBay, I shop on eBay all the time. There are fake Pandora charms everywhere, so you just got to kind of watch. So when I shop for Pandora, I put in used condition. I don't want them brand new. I never look for stock photos. I look for photos where somebody actually holding the charm, you know, it's on a piece of fabric. It's it's somebody's personal photo. It's not a stock photo. I look for those. I check the shop reviews. I check their sales reviews. So I was on Poshmark and I seen this charm come up and I will put the photo, if I can put the photo in here, I will. Um, you guys know I usually upload straight from my phone so I don't edit so I will have the original photo on my Instagram for you guys to check out so I'll have my Instagram it's always down below if you want to check out my Instagram but the original photo that came in was the correct charm that's what they used in their listing for sale the charm I got in is this little booger and I know it's it's the bride and groom and when I first got this charm, I don't know if I can get this clip off with just my fingernail. I can't. Hold on. Yes, I have on my pajamas. When I'm at home, I wear pajamas. Well, these are not like pajamas. I don't sleep in loungewear. They're loungewear. Um, let me get this clip off the end. And then I can take the... Um, Brian Groom off. I knew as soon as I held it in my hand, it's heavy, it's got some weight to it, but something didn't feel right about the metal. It something just it doesn't feel the same as let me take this one off. Like the double kitty cats, which is very similar in size. It doesn't this feels heavier. The Kitty Cats feels much heavier. So that was my first warning. And then I got to looking at the details on this guy. The bride and groom, the bride has a pearl necklace. You can see the little beads going around her neck, the little pearls. This one, you can't even see a necklace around her neck. The bouquet, you can see like swirls in the sterling silver, which are the bouquet. This bouquet is just a blob. The markings on the feet, there is a 925 and there is an L, an ALL. You can barely see the ALL. It is teeny tiny and it is barely in there. So I went back and looked at her original listing photo, which had the pearl necklace, it has the detail in the bouquet, it has better detail in the faces, in the outfits, everything. This is not the charm that she has a photo of, and I'm not going to tell you the shop name, I'm just telling you to be aware of these things. Um, this is not the charm that was in the photo. It's a totally different charm. So I opened a dispute, I've never, this is only my second purchase from Poshmark, um, I've never opened a dispute, so... Um, I got an email from Poshmark. They will send me a shipping label to return this to the seller 
once I return it to the seller, I get a full refund. Now, I don't know what they'll do to the seller or if, you know, they look into this as a non-authentic item that they're selling. I'm going to go ahead and take that off my bracelet. And I'll put my um, other little charm back on here that I had on here. But um, that was my experience with a item that did not fit the description. So I'm going to put back on there my little glitter ball. That's what I had on there. little glitter ball. And we'll put it back. But yes, so let me know down below if you've ever bought anything from Poshmark, Macari. I've, I've got stuff from eBay that I've had to like file a claim from and or say it was not, it was not legit. And I've gotten like a full refund. Um, didn't have to send the item back. This one I have to send the item back, but they are sending me a shipping label to send it back. So as far as I understand that's a prepaid shipping label. I don't know if I have to pay shipping on it to send it back. I don't think so. Let me guys know if you've ever had to do this. That's why I'm asking. But here is minus the bride and groom that is not, in my opinion, the real thing. My finished bracelet. Now, I do have um, three, three other bracelets back there. But this one has like my birthday blooms, the sun and moon on it. It's got Ronnie's initials. I am on a hunt for an S. My birthday heart, the um, beveled ribbon clip, the birthday cake. This is from my cruise. Both of these right here from my cruise to the Bahamas. It's got the teddy bears that's hugging, another clip. The pavade heart, the double kitty cats, of course, from my Sam and my Tiger Boy. The glitter ball and then i forget what this heart's called but um it's got little rhinestones in it and it's just a ball of hearts and then another sunburst clip and that one is it's full this is on a seven and a half inch bracelet and that's perfect for my wrist with a full a full bracelet so i was very excited to have a full bracelet oh my gosh i didn't it's it's so much fun and I have a a new clip phone holder so I can film my bracelets again that's coming and I have a ring light bulb coming in I hope it fits um the umbrella light it does its job but to me it's just not as bright as my ring lights was so there is my full bracelet Let's see if I can get it on here and I can catch the little, catch it. Ha. Takes me a moment when you're one-handed and you're putting it on your right hand and you're left-handed. I always leave room. They tell you to leave room so your beads can move around. It's not too tight on your bracelet, but I have plenty of space. Um, my other two bracelets are 7.1s. And I cannot, I cannot get those full. I wouldn't attempt to try to get those full. Well, actually, here, I'll show you the, the sterling silver ones I have. I have some leather ones, but there's only, I think the purple one, the purple one has its beads on it. I've took the beads off the other ones. So here is a bracelet I made on the 7.1. And it's got the little kitty cat head and then just the really pretty Murano's. I'll be so glad to get that other um, phone stand so I can turn my phone around. And you guys can see this better. And it's got the little butterfly open work beads and then the bevel clips again. And this is the 7.1. And it's super cute. So I wear it. The 7.1s I will not feel, feel completely up. And then I have... I have a Christmas one too. I forgot. I got a Christmas one that's on a I have three bangles. I have a Christmas bangle. This is kind of like my spring bangle. It's got thumper. It's got the butterfly spacers. It's got the peach heart. It's got the dahlia. I think that's what these are called. The pink dahlia spacers. 
And it's got the Tree of Life in an open work heart. And then it's got the Pinky Peach little faceted opalescent ones. So this is kind of my spring bracelet. And this is kind of like the me bracelet. Or I don't know yet. It, it's, it's a work in progress. But it's got the travel coffee cup because I have coffee every day. It's got pink Murano's on it. It's got the little double heart that I got for Valentine's Day. It's got the little teacup or coffee cup or whatever you want to put in it. It's got the little bird and the spoon on the saucer. And then over here is my cupcake. So this is kind of like the me and the big poofy hearts for everything that's girly. It's got the ribbons on it. So yeah, those are the current configurations I'm working with right now. And then my essence bracelet which my good friend Tracy sent me two of the beads, these two, and then I had this, wait, is that right? I think that's right. I bought this one and she sent me these two, is that right? Or she bought me these two and I got this one. Now I can't remember, I'm gonna have to go back and watch the video. I can't remember, that's how my memory works. But there's my Essence bracelet and I like to wear them stacked up. But yeah, that is what I'm working with right now on my Pandora. And guys, I get a lot of comments that says, I would love to have a Pandora bracelet. I can't with my budget. And I know right now, like right now, really budget is, is a thing. But um, I started, my first bracelet was from Pandora. And my first bead was from Pandora. It was right at $90. The bracelet was 60, the charm was 30. And then after that, I learned about Rue La La. Rue La La, when you can catch those 70% sales and free shipping, that's when you can really rack up on making you a bracelet. I also sign up for the Pandora emails. Right now there is a Mother's Day promotion going on. If you spend $125, which I know that's a lot. I know that's a lot, especially right now when people are, don't have jobs, but I'm talking about in the future coming up. I missed the Christmas promotion. I really wanted that Christmas bangle and I didn't get it. Um, but they do these throughout the year for special occasions. Mother's Day's coming up. So the promotion is if you spend $125, you get a free bangle that is retailed $75. So there's ways to get like a free bracelet if you buy the charms to put on it. Or you can get a coupon. Or they do a buy two, get one free. Or buy more, save more. The more you buy, the bigger the percent off is. There's a way to build your bracelet. Again, I check pawn shops, which you can't right now because they're closed. Pawn shops, eBay, Poshmark. But just be careful buying on eBay and Poshmark. But as long as you're paying with PayPal and you're going with eBay and Poshmark, they do have that guaranteed return. They have the safety there that if it is not legit, you can dispute it and send it back because there's a lot of fakes out there. There's a lot of fakes out there. And I'm pretty sure this booger right here is a fake. I know it's a fake. She's a fake. But I will have pictures up um, of what the real one's supposed to look like, which is the photo she actually used, and then the photo of this guy. So... As always, guys, thanks for watching. If you have any other questions about Pandora, if you'd like for me to go in more in depth, there will be a Mother's Day bracelet uh, unboxing coming up, so stay tuned for that. I did take advantage of that promotion while you could get the free bangle, and that was my birthday present. That was the birthday present from my hubby. So um, he got a belated birthday present of an air compressor. <laughs> That's what we got each other. Um, he got an air compressor. That's something he's been wanting. And I got the Mother's Day bracelet. So, all right, guys. As always, thanks for watching. As always, I will see you guys on the next one.